All right, folks. So this is a quick video that I wanted to make about my furnace. Um, went out of town a couple of days for about maybe five days. Came back. My furnace was not working. Um, was working fine before. Couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Um, long story short, was up all night when I came home yesterday. And... Um, did a lot of research online, videos. Uh, I noticed that the inducer moto, which is that, came on. The um, flame, I guess the, uh, what I call the glow plug? <laughs> I don't know anyway. But I followed a lot of uh, videos about checking the glow plug. My mind has a solid filament, so I knew my, it wasn't damaged. Um, that's also another switch as well, which I thought might be bad. I cleaned it. That's a flame sensor. Cleaned it. And um, needless to say, I had a cold night. Uh, I had to use my portable heater. But this morning, I saw another video um, from someone on YouTube, and I decided to test my circuit board. Now the circuit board is supposed to have a solid light. Light, solid light. And um, there are flashes that it does indicate as to what the problems could be. And I don't know if you can see it, but the green light, you can see the green light right there. supposed to be a bleed on mine. I have a good one. A good man anyway. And that's my model. I don't know if your model is the same, but most good men I guess might be similar to that. But mine has a sorry about the light. See that? It tells me on the inside panel what the flashes mean. So two flashes. I was getting two and seven. So two flashes means low fire pressure switch stuck closed. And seven is for low flame sense signal. So I decided to just clean up. I decided to just, I guess that's a low pressure switch. And these are also switches, maybe the high pressure switch, I'm not too sure, but I decided to take the hose out, which is this here. I actually took it from here first. I blew through this, I could hear a clicking, that means the sensor is working. I did the same to this side, but lo and behold, when I took this hose out, actually I took this side out, <coughs> and took that out, this side off as well, there was water dripping, all from this panel. I don't know what this is, but I, I guess that goes to the, uh, the blower, right above the blower. There was water dripping all the way out here, down here, as you can see cleaned it up and it kept on dripping 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 I still got some over there look at how much water I took out came out so apparently what was happening was that this switch was not getting vacuum going to it and that's what my problem was so in case you have a problem with yours through a deep freeze and the furnace was off for quite some time likely that could be your issue so make sure that you clear up any lines out there and my unit seems to be working now so hopefully this video helps someone if it does <coughs> please subscribe appreciate it or send a like or share Thank you. Have a good one.